Rosie just got the worst Christmas present ever. Uh, she's done by Fox News. Ben Shapiro claimed a victory over the holiday weekend in his feud with Rosie O'Donnell after Twitter reversed itself and deleted a vulgar tweet the conservative commentator had reported. Shapiro filed the complaint after the ex-view host tweeted at him, suck my you-know-what, Ben. He said he reported her mainly to see if Twitter does indeed have a double standard, which we all know it's most likely, right? Everyone knows if uh, Rosie were conservative, Twitter would have suspended her in a hot second. So Twitter put uh, your money where your mouth is, Shapiro wrote, adding the hashtag me too hashtag. At first, it seemed like Twitter balked, but the social media giant initially sent Shapiro its conclusion that there was no violation of the Twitter rules against abusive behavior. Shapiro responded, surprise of surprises, Twitter says that at Rosie tweets were not in fact abusive in any way under their rules. Good to know. But in a twist, Twitter wrote back shortly afterwards to say the comments actually were in violation. We have required that the reported tweets be deleted and they have since been removed, the Twitter statement said. Well, it looks like Twitter had some second thoughts about Rosie's obscene tweets. The Shapiro-O'Donnell clash started during a dispute over the Republican tax bill last week. O'Donnell originally said she would give $2 million each to GOP Senators Susan Collins and Jeff Flake if they voted against the tax re uh, reform legislation. Shapiro, who is also the editor-in-chief of the Daily Wire, responded with a series of jabs at the liberal former co-host of The View. One tweet cited an article he wrote from, uh, for his website claiming Rosie O'Donnell violates federal law, offers to bribe Republican senators to vote against tax bill. Another tweet called for O'Donnell to be locked up while Shapiro also joked if Trump orders Sessions to investigate Rosie, he will be carved into Rushmore on Friday. After the barrage of Shapiro Post, O'Donnell sent the profanity-laced reply. The exchange continued, leading Shapiro to make even more claims against O'Donnell. You're already a felon, Rosie. Don't be a homophobic sexual harasser, too, replied Shapiro. After Shapiro alerted his followers that he had reported O'Donnell, she simply replied, Oh, Ben, to which he answered, All victims deserve to, believe, to be believed. O'Donnell retweeted a number of tweets calling Shapiro a snowflake and accusing him of mocking victims of sexual abuse. However, she did block Shapiro on Twitter. You can take a quick uh, look at this here from Fox News here. Oh. Suggestion that she would bribe lawmakers to vote against the tax bill. Ben Shapiro wasn't having it, saying that's a violation of federal law. From there, things got increasingly, well, personal, with O'Donnell telling Shapiro to do things that we can't say here on television, prompting Shapiro to send out this tweet today, just reported Rosie for targeted harassment, mainly to see if Twitter does indeed have a double standard. Everyone knows if Rosie were conservative, Twitter would suspend her in a hot second. So Twitter, put your money where your mouth is, hashtag me too. Rosie replied simply, oh Ben. Shapiro's response, Rosie, all victims deserve to be believed, and the story doesn't end there. Joining us now in an exclusive interview, Ben Shapiro, editor-in-chief of The Daily Wire. Now, I know you just heard from Twitter. I want you to hold on to that for one second, just so we can make sure everybody's up to speed. Her original tweet, which I saw fly by, too, where she says $2 million to Senator Susan Collins, Senator Jeff Flake, if they vote no, no, I will not kill Americans. That's 
what she tweeted. I don't know how this is killing Americans, but that's okay. For the sour rich, I think it was supposed to say super, but she was impaired in some way while doing this, probably with her fingers. Um, DM me, Susan, DM me, Jeff. You responded that if Trump orders Sessions to investigate Rosie, he will be carved into Rushmore by Friday, <laughs> which I thought was a pretty good burn. Um, but what inspired you to pile on this mess? Because it was already out of control. Well, I mean, it was obvious that she had actually violated at least formally uh, 18 U.S.C. 210, 201, 201. They can't buy the officials. Yeah, exactly. The, the, uh, the, a specific provision of the U.S. Code. Uh, and in doing so, uh, she, she, she had done this on Twitter, and so I sort of piled on a little bit, and she responded by essentially telling me to perform an anatomical act on her right. that certainly would fall under Me Too sexual harassment. So, uh, but, but what was weird about it is that she told me to perform it on a male appendage of hers. Well, so that was, that's, it, was, it was weird. Let's not get into and, that, because yeah, it was, it was we're going to be back in right now. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's probably smart, and, and so I, I responded by essentially saying that she was already a felon. There was no need to make herself into a homophobic sexual harasser as well. Um, the, the so serious things, things part of this, from there. yeah, absolutely. The serious part of this is that she told you to do things to her that, of course, Harvey Weinstein and lots of people are in trouble for trying to get people to do to <laughs> this them. This is hilarious. It was, I think, I mean, if a man said this to a woman, you say conservative versus liberal, but if any, any of the normal tables were turned, people would recoil in horror and just would really be on your side, but not this time. No question. I mean, if, if I had said exactly the same words to, to Rosie O'Donnell that she said to me on Twitter, I have very little doubt that I would have been suspended uh, or expelled from Twitter for targeted harassment or abuse under sure. the rules. So I decided to find out exactly how Twitter operated. And so I reported her for targeted harassment and abuse. Uh, and then I have now received back their notice that apparently there was no violation of the Twitter rules, which is astonishing. They say that she did not actually perform behavior that crosses the line into abuse. Uh, which, I, I, you know, it's, I, I totally understand why we can't read these tweets on air because they're really obscene and abusive, but that's why Twitter probably should have done something if they cared about enforcing their own rules. I actually don't want Rosie O'Donnell to toss off Twitter. I find her far too amusing, and I'm sad that she blocked me today. But uh, that said, I think that Twitter should be held to account for its own enforcement of the rules because it's wildly inconsistent. Yeah, look, we're, we're looking right there where you can see that, that Rosie blocked you. Um, it, it does seem very hypocritical on Twitter's part, which is sort of the focus, because Rosie has gone off a bunch of times before. I mean, she has a long Twitter history. Some of her best times were during the debates um, where she called President Trump all kinds of names, comparing him to body parts, saying how orange she was, talking about his appearance. I mean, again, things that if tweeted at a woman, um, you know, or if tweeted at Hillary Clinton about her appearance, People would be all up in arms, but this is what she was doing to Donald Trump. She even said he was like the snake oil salesman from Little House in the Prairie, which I kind of liked for obvious reasons. But um, all these things going on, she's on Twitter, but Twitter does nothing about it when she attacks someone with what should be sexual harassment. Do they, do they have a track record of banning other people for saying things like this, though? Uh, well, I mean, they, they do have a track record of, of at least blocking people's tweets for that are considered abusive or suspending people who are abusive. And they have a track record of going after people for political reasons as well. Again, their terms of service suggest that you are not allowed to issue tweets like this, but they have a rather arbitrary standard, obviously, for, for what they choose to enforce or not enforce. My guess is that they didn't want to open the can of worms that would have necessitated opening uh, in order to take any action against Rosie O'Donnell for suggesting that uh, I, I do certain things to her, which yeah. is horrifying. I, I'm still stuck on the fact that she seemed very sincere in the fact when she went on originally and she tweeted long tweets about exactly how much money she wanted to get for them to vote no and DM me and, and she sounded very serious. So I don't know. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of debate right now about whether or not that's a violation of the law since it was on Twitter. We'll see. Ben Shapiro, hat tip to you, my friend. Thank you for coming on. Thanks. Well, she actually did violate the law by, by doing that, uh, offering money. And uh, Twitter does have a double standard. Sorry about that. Uh, it seems like uh, Twitter does have a double standard on that. I mean, uh, you know, it can't work one w only one way. If it was a conservative voice, they would have shut it down automatically. Uh, and uh, everybody would have been in an uproar, but yet if it's on the left, nobody seems, they just like overlook it and say, oh, okay, but that's not, that's not 
correct. And I agree with Ben Shapiro here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.